I don't know what that is up in here. You know, we really are going to have to. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, let me welcome y'all to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me say this and be upfront about it. Um, all the good white people, y'all know who y'all are. And y'all know who the crazy members of your families are. The white supremacists, the evil haters. And we are really going to need for you to bring this scourge to humanity to heal. We really going to have to to have y'all get these super predator, super predators under control. You're going to have to bring them to heal. Um, they can no longer be tolerated. And there should be severe, and I mean severe consequences for those who violate this covenant or, or, or this oath. As many times as black people have been violated, you have never seen us going around. What 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 groups have you saw in uh, uh, in the black community that have gathered together to go out and hunt down white people? And if anybody had a reason to hunt down anybody, it should be us hunting y'all down, picking y'all off left and right. After what? The history has been, especially with those of uh, y'all who we know is directly related to descendants of slaves. I mean, descendants of, of the masters, right? You guys are scourge, a scourge on a uh, blemish, a black mark of humanity. I mean, what gang has come out of black people being frustrated with the uh, evilness that you have done to us? What gang has come out? What black supremacist gang has come out of it that went around killing whitey? Like Nat Turner. But all they do is go after us. I mean, I want to know how can you be taught such hatred like this and lies when the truth really, the truth really is your whole life is a propaganda. Your whole life is projection. There's nothing truthful about your existence. And you have been lied to to the point now where, again, you got to be brought to heal. There is a segment of y'all who are out there real, real bad. And, I mean, we don't have that much hatred for y'all. And I believe it's probably because we know that we're the fathers and mothers of all races. I believe we have showed you grace and favor because of that. We are your mothers and fathers. We know that you came from us. We didn't come from y'all. And the sad part is the way the society has been wired and engineered, if you really told white people the truth about who they really are, and who we really are, they wouldn't be able to take it. A, a vast majority of them will probably commit suicide. Of course, there's always an exception to the rule, and there's always the learned. And the ones who get it, get it. And fortunately, I think they outweigh the ones who don't get it. But the ones who don't get it make a lot of noise. They keep a lot of rhetoric going. So I came across these articles and, you know, they really disturbed me because nobody wants to talk about it. You have to go look at it, dig it, and 
So the Georgia, there's, <clears throat> this is the uh, Georgia police. Georgia men, part of white supremacist group, was planning a murder for murderers. Authorities in North Georgia said they had arrested three men who belonged to a white supremacist organization that was plotting to kill a Bartow County couple and overthrow the government and start a race war. Floyd County Police alleged three of these members of the base described as a violent organization that has a substantial presence south of Rome in rural Silver Creek community. The group's goal is to establish a white ethno state. The men, Michael John Heltebrand, 25, of Dalton, Jacob Kaderly, 19, of, of Dakula, Luke Austin Lane, 21, of Silver Creek, plotted in North Georgia last year with a fourth member of the same group, a Canadian national named Patrick Jordan Matthews, according to the Floyd police. Federal law enforcement authority arrested Matthews, a former combat engineer in the Canadian Army Reserve, and two other base members in Maryland and charged him with firearm-related offenses this week. Matthews had discussed participating in a pro-gun rally Monday in Richmond, Virginia, where state lawmakers are considering gun control measures their own self, the New York Times reported. Uh, Governor Ralph Northam instituted a temporary ban on firearms on Capitol grounds ahead of the rally, citing intelligence that extremist groups were threatening violence. A Virginia Circuit Court judge upheld, it, upheld the order on Thursday. The rally has drawn support from fire right groups, including, uh, uh, including the Georgia 11, 111% Security Force Militia, led by Chris Hill, an Atlanta-based area resident. Hill, who has spent months publicizing the rally on his social media channel, apparently is in Richmond for the event. On Friday... Hill posted an account of the base arrest on Facebook saying, FBI just arrested three men that were headed to the Virginia rally and called the accusations fake. See, you notice that these the white press don't want to call them uh, white supremacists. They don't want to call them. Now they want to call them gang members. Okay. Now, you know that word was relegated for black folk, the Crips and the blood. Now you want to call them gang members. No, these are white supremacists. Three Georgians have been charged with participating in criminal gang and conspiracy to commit murder. Jail records do not identify any attorney's representative. The group was involved in recruiting new members online, meeting to discuss strategies and practices in paramilitary training camps on a hundred acre track <clears throat> in Silver Creek. That's the way police said in a news uh, release. The case is detailed in a 20 page affidavit Floyd police released on Thursday. It describes how undercover FBI agents infiltrated the group last year. He met with some of his members on the Lane family's sprawling property in Silver Creek. And then he participated in shooting drills to prepare what the group called the Boogaloo, or the collapse of the United States after the race war. This is what they do. Lane is identified in the affidavit as using 
an online alias TMB. Archive record show TMB was a regular poster on the neo-Nazi forum. On one, he described his journey from libertarian leaning Republican to a radical neo-Nazi. I was always a national socialist, but I never knew it. So that's probably why I skipped around in fringe styles looking for the truth I knew existed somewhere, he wrote. In another meeting attended by other cover agents, Matthews, who crossed into the United States illegally, was there and after David said. Later, the agent observed Hildebrand, Catillary, and Lane discussed plans to kill an unarmed married Barto Cupro, who they believe belonged to the Atlanta anti fascists The agent also accompanied Kyle Larry and Lane as they surveilled the couple's home in the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is crazy. They're everywhere. I mean, just everywhere. This this makes no sense. And they want to keep on sugarcoating it. Atlanta, Atlanta anti fascist an anonymous group that researchers and exposes white supremacists online released a statement to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution that said that the couple was not a member of his group, but, but, but that the group plots are not unexpected. Targeting people as members of our group has become a favorite pastime of these violent white supremacists, the statement said. It also added that the base is trying to create a general attitude of terror and paranoia. Uh, so you got the Punishers, you got the base, it's a lot of them out there. Posse Comitatis, a neo-Nazi group that has been active online since it emerged in 2018, the base portrays its members as soldiers defending the European race against a system that is infected by Jewish values In other demagoguery. This is a continuation of the threats of domestic terrorism that I think people are really wrapping their heads around finally, Seeger said. To some degree, we have seen law enforcement talk about the sort of doubling down on its efforts to track this deadly threat. And now maybe we are starting to see some of the outcome of this focus. At least that's what I hope. I wanna know what y'all think about that. I wanna know. Because you know what? It seems to me that all these white groups come up, they call them gang members. Here's another one. Montana fails to recognize white supremacist groups as terrorists. Uh, Republicans say Antifa and other groups deserve that label. Then you got a House Republican representative, Derek Skees. He questioned the existence of white supremacist groups in the state at a Tuesday hearing about a resolution condemning violence from white supremacists and neo-Nazi groups. Could you please name me one white supremacist group in Montana? Shit's crazy. It's crazy. With that being said, y'all tell me what you think. Am I, is it me? Or do you feel like when it's black, they're quick to say gang members. And, and so now that we're finding that it's white supremacists, are you finding it strange that they don't want to call them out? Now they want to call them gang members. 
when clearly they got plots to kill people, certain ethnic groups and scourge white supremacists, spew white supremacist rhetoric. The hypocrisy is mad. And so I'd like to know what y'all think. Please leave your comment below. And if you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, and please uh, share my channel. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video.